Hey everybody, welcome to the Magi Show. Um, today's topic for the show is going to be this. It's a little bit of a project I've been working on this week. And it's a comparison of the Easter Island statues to the natural rock formations on Flower Pot Island up here in Canada. So it's kind of a long story on how I started comparing these two. You might think it looks kind of funny that these things aren't really connected, but I'll show you the information I found that possibly could connect the two, so I'll just present it and see what you think. All right, this all began when I was uh, looking at some of the research from uh, Julie Ryder. She uh, does some work in Montana on different dolmen and megalith sites there. So she was sharing some information about a really cool site she found this week, or I guess recently. And it's like a, a natural rock formation in the shape of a dolmen. And it's like hard to say, is like this really man-made or is it natural? It's like I've been thinking about that this week. You can see that they're very similar in their shape and design. But uh, yeah, it's hard to say. So uh, Julie's mentioned that uh, all these ancient sites she researches in Montana seem to be connected on grid lines. And that got my research kicked into researching ley lines on the, the earth map and seeing if uh, basically all these ley lines really are real and if we could decipher what the pattern is. Like a lot of researchers have made different ley line patterns and I think they got it super close. Like some of them are like really accurate but the one that I've been working on with Julie's line and the research for my line up in Canada connects to the Easter Island and those natural rocks. So uh, I guess I'll show you what, uh, what I'm talking about here. So yeah, here we have those uh, natural rock formations by us in Canada. And I was thinking, yeah, this is really neat because Julie found the, the dolmen next to natural rock formations that looked very similar. So it's like we almost had man-made ones and natural ones that look almost identical, like their design principles and everything. It's like the ancients were copying nature. So I was like, hey, like this Draco Stonehenge I research up north connects all the way down to Easter Island. And people have been debating with me if that's really a connection, if th this is a real ley line. So they're saying, hey, you should find more information that connects the Easter Island statues to something else. So I was like, yeah, it's neat how these island, or the island we have here with Flower Pot Island, has these natural rocks that look very similar to Easter Island. So I was like, man, like I should compare these two a little bit closer, because Julie found out that hers, the natural and man-made ones, we're on the same ley line. Yeah, so here's the Easter Island ones, and you can see that there's definitely differences between the two, but I think they also have a lot in, in common. Like if you put them right next to each other, you can see that the, the shape of the nose is where rock sticks out, the slant of the head is very similar, the back shape is very similar. And it's funny how like they, the spacing between them is almost the same too. Like this is a to scale image from National Geographic, and when I compared the two, I was like, man, it's almost unreal how similar they are. So I was like, wouldn't it be funny, like, just like Julie's research, how she showed natural and man-made ones were connected on the same ley line. I should connect, hey, like, see if Easter Island and this flower pot island happen to be on the same ley line, the one that I connected to the Draco Stonehenge. Yep, so... Here on the map is uh, what I found out, is lo and behold, the flower pot island and the Easter Island do connect directly on the same ley line that goes to the Draco Stonehenge. And there's Julie's line there. And this is where I think uh, one of the main hubs where all the lines intersect is. And that's what's forcing the, the land around the, the continent to shift out. But anyways, I won't get too much into the, uh, how the ley lines work and stuff, but I'll just show you like how accurate this is. Like, Flower Pot Island, Easter Island, these are tiny islands on a huge scale of the entire Earth. So I'll give you an example here on Google. I'll boot it up and show you exactly how accurate this is. So here we have Flower Pot Island in Canada. And this is where those giant rock formations that look like the Easter Island statues are. And just give me a second here and I'll change this to Easter Island Chile and go to it so you can see just how close or how accurate this line is. All right, here we go, Flower Pot Island, and we'll go to Easter Island. 
Roll the drum roll. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. There it goes, following the line, following the line. You can see it passes ocean ridges on the way. And lo and behold, here's Easter Island. So the line goes directly over both of the Flower Pot Island statues and the Easter Island statues. So here we have just like Julie's formation where she had natural formations and man-made ones on the same ley line. That's what we find here for Easter Island in these flower pot statues. I think that's a little bit unreal. Yeah, so there it is. Julie's natural or possibly man-made one. I guess we're still going to have to see more research on this one because she just recently discovered it. Alright, so, yeah, I hope everyone uh, likes the comparison about these two sites. It's neat to think that, like, these, these could be connected. The same people might have witnessed the, these statues or rock formations on Flower Pot Island and built the Easter Island statues to replicate it because it's on the same ley line. I don't know, it's a pretty wild theory, but I think there's a decent amount of evidence for it. It's like uh, just looking at the two side by side, looking how accurate they are on the ley line. So yeah, I hope everyone checks out Julie's research too. A big thanks to Julie for her all of her work she does in Montana. It's like, I don't know, half the discoveries I make recently are from watching her videos and stuff, so I can't thank her enough. All right, uh, so yeah, thanks again, everybody, and uh, hopefully you check out the Magi show. Hoping to get it going soon again. Just been get, getting over a little bit of health issues, but I won't get into that. So everyone have a good day, and thanks for checking out the research, and hope you share the video. Take care.